Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have decided to do something interesting. Actually whatever we have done till now is just uh, a plain thing which uh, I have done in the PowerShell console only. PowerShell sorry. So today I have decided that I will do something interesting which, uh, which I, I think you will like. Okay. And uh, this video may have uh, different parts because this will be a long video. In this uh, video, I will try to uh, teach you how to use Power, uh, PowerShell with Excel and uh, how to use uh, the, uh, um, the graphs in Excel to visualize certain functions. Uh, certain mathematical functions actually to be uh, uh, to be uh, uh, precise uh, okay so so uh, i am an engineering student and uh, i was engineering student but now i, I am an engineer so uh, when i was a student uh, i was actually communication engineering student so at that time i had uh, we have certain concepts uh, there was a concept called modulation okay so actually in modulation what happens that we superimpose a high frequency wave on a low frequency wave and the resultant what we get is a modulated wave which will have the properties of both the waves so i had difficulty in understanding that uh, what will be the properties of that wave how it will look like so in the, those days it was quite difficult but now since i have the uh, powershell and uh, i know how to uh, make things easy um, for me so i have found a way uh, to plot the mathematical functions by using excel as well as uh, the graphs in excel okay so i will teach you how to use PowerShell, ICSC, as well as how to use uh, Excel sheet, how to put the data in, in the Excel sheet cells, okay, and how to use the graphs, how to use the uh, Excel graphs, and how to visualize functions, mathematical function by using those graphs, okay. So let us start. So first, what I will do is I will uh, tell you how to uh, use the actual uh, sheet uh, how to um, uh, start working on excel sheet so first thing which i will do is um, i will use a com object okay uh, which will invoke a excel application and then uh, we will see what happens in the subsequent uh, steps so first of all let us start okay so we will start by using com object by uh, typing the command new object com object uh, sorry excel dot application okay so this will call the excel application this will open the excel application okay let me store it uh, in a variable i am naming this variable excel okay because uh, we will be using this excel variable to do a lot of uh, a lot of things okay so now what i will do uh, since uh, you will invoke this excel application it will it will be invoked and it will run behind you will not be able to see it on the screen so in order to make it uh, visible what you will have to do is you'll have to uh, use this uh, property excel dot visible and you have to make this property true now it is this property uh, is true so what it will do it will start the application excel application and you will be able to see it on the screen otherwise it you will not be able to see the excel application on the screen okay. so uh, after this what you have to do is uh, you have to open the excel sheet okay uh, see you on the next video